Hey, welcome to Toronto Public Library's Kids Stop. Are you ready for a great story? Well, get comfortable. Here's Abe from the Ready for Reading team with a really great story. Hi, Rufus. Nice to see you. Did you know that one of my favorite animals is a tiger? And do you know what sound a tiger makes? They roar like this. Roar! Now, Rufus, you try it. Roar! That was great. In It's a Tiger, written by David LaRochelle with illustrations by Jeremy Tankard and published by Chronicle Books, there is a lot of roaring going on. So if you're ready to go on an adventure with me, let's go. It's a tiger. Are you ready for a story? Me too. We'll start in the jungle where the tall trees grow and the monkeys swing from vine to vine. Wait a minute, that's not a monkey. That looks like a tiger. Run! Push aside these vines and we'll hide inside this cave. Duck your head, flap, 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 and watch out for bats. I don't know about you, but those shadows are making me nervous. In fact, one of those shadows looks like a tiger. How did he get here? Hurry, climb that ladder and we'll make our escape. Ah, sunshine, doesn't that feel good? Uh-oh, snakes, hundreds of them. If we're very quiet, shh, we can tiptoe past. Blue snakes, green snakes, even a, a great big fuzzy snake that looks just like a tiger. Run! Yikes, he's gaining on us. Our only chance is to leap for that rope and swing across this canyon. Now, let go. Whomp. We made it. Good thing, we landed someplace soft. A bed of flowers, a pile of leaves, a giant orange and black pillow. Oh no, we landed on top of a tiger. Now we're really in trouble. Quick, climb this rock and slide down this hill. Bumpity bump, 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 bump. Yes, a boat. Hop on deck and raise the anchor. Full steam ahead, Captain. Safe at last. Say, I've never seen a sea captain with a tail before. Have you? You don't think it could be? A tiger? Not again! Jump overboard or we'll end up as lunch. Swim, swim. Splash, splash, splash. Now, I know you're tired, but don't slow down down. We're in luck. There's an island and a chest. Open the lid. I bet we'll find a tiger and he wants to eat us. Roar! Oh, wait a minute. He doesn't want to eat us. He was only yawning. If we scratch his ears and rub his belly, maybe he'll go to sleep. Better yet. Let's tell him a story. We'll start in the jungle where the tall trees grow and the monkeys swing from vine to vine. Wait a minute. That's not a monkey. That looks like a crocodile. Well, did you enjoy that story? I had a lot of fun today. Thanks for having me, Rufus, and I'll see you later. Whoa, I was a bit scared there for a minute. Tigers are cats, and as you know, cats and dogs don't always get along. Huh, it was a great story, Abe. Thanks for that. I liked it so much. Well, I'm going to find it right here on the shelf and give it a read. Bye for now.